Another nation to change story, but this one is actually an original from Andrew Emmett. I'm going to take a mm. drink. But this one again, what's happening with police brutality this week? Let me put the... And that's, that's, a, that's an interesting segment. You can, you can do quite a bit on that. You know? Right? Well... What's happening in police brutality this week? That seems like a fucking, you know. Well, we're covering uh, a bunch of different funny. topics today. Um, so we covered Ukraine. We're covering the environment. Next, we're covering police brutality. We're also going to cover dark money and corruption, labor fighting back. And then we're going to get to some propagandists, that our favorite right. propagandists to, to dunk on and, and expose. So we're going to do some of that, too. So, five Pittsburgh cops fired after fatal arrest involving a stun gun. And none but, of the terminated officers thank you. currently face any criminal charges for causing the death of Jim Rogers after tasing him at least eight times. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Bad. Yeah. Like, Nation of Change original. I like the little splash on the. It's very uh, artistic. Aesthetic. <clears throat> on October, okay. So again, five Pittsburgh officers have been terminated following the turn of events. Here's what happened. Yeah. On October 13th, Pittsburgh police officers arrested Jim Rogers, 54, for allegedly stealing a bicycle that was listed for sale on a lawn and trespassing on a porch. Mm. According to witnesses. Rogers was not aggressive during the incident, but police insisted he was non-compliant. And again, there's a link here from the Post-Gazette, the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, from the actual incident themselves. Within three minutes and 18 seconds, Rogers was tased at least eight times by one of the officers. According to the summary of the Critical Incident Review Board, Officer Gregory Boss, and Officer Patrick DeSaro arrived after the tasing and helped handcuff him. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, again, at 10.57 a.m., so it doesn't say exactly when, but at 10.57, right. Rogers asked DeSaro and Boss for help while riding in the back seat of their patrol car. A few minutes later, Rogers slumped over and became unresponsive. Became unresponsive. He was then transported to a hospital where he received CPR treatment at 11.15. He was pronounced mm. dead the next day. And again, Remember, this happened back in October. Cops don't think tasers are non-lethal. They think of them as less than lethal. That's that's by definition what they are. Okay. In January, so the means... ME ruled the death accidental due to the acute global hypoxic hy hypoxic is ischemic injury to the brain right it's always accidental well even though we know a lot of that, that no that had to leave. do with riding that that i'm sure had right. to do with being tased eight times in three minutes are you kidding right so during saying. during a news conference the pittsburgh mayor and public safety director confirmed that five of the police officers had been terminated while three others were reinstated they declined to release the names of those officers reinstated yeah Attorney Robert Del Greco, who represents Officer Gregory Boss, confirmed that his client, who had been fired, uh, was one of the officers who had been fired after the internal review. Sorely disappointed in the administration's termination. Of course they are. Then Blue Line, so that your listeners know, he's a nurturing parent, he's a doting husband, very active, and he's a 22-year veteran. And he tased somebody in 3 minutes and 18 seconds and put him in a squad car and let him die. Oh, yeah, there's that, yep. too. With his impeccable record. Yeah. Mr. Rogers deserved to live a life of joy. He deserved to live a long one, the mayor said during a press conference. Yep. And he didn't deserve to lose his life at the hands of police officers. Yep. It's literally Mr. Rogers. Like, like. 54 years old. Um, now, it does not say the um, not the, the race of the Killed. None of the terminated officers currently face any criminal charges for causing the death of Jim Rogers after teasing. Now, 
How? 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 It's because everybody turned line, off their right? body cameras? Probably. I Did you even I... mention body cameras in there? Uh, No. But it happened in the back seat of the police car while the cops were driving anyway. Were there cops sitting with him? No. There were nine that tased him, threw him in the back of a squad right. car, two, two were in the front seat. He was yelling to the guys, hey, I need help, I need help. And a few and fifteen minutes later, he's slumped over and dead. Next day, right? Great. Okay. Yep. Thanks for that. Didn't Tarantino do that? Thanks, do that scene already. Good job. Unbelievable. Oh. Okay.